is up everybody welcome back to another video and this is me derpy dino coming to you with a new um minecraft designs video We have the very simple, um, like, automatic wheat farm. So many people know this, but I just couldn't help it. I just wanted to add it in this video just because it's, it, it's, pre it's pretty sweet, I think. I, I like this idea. So, pretty much, you just click the button, and it just does all this water. And by the way, my ticking speed is at max, so don't think I'm just, like, hacking or anything. This is, you're, t it's not meant for ticking, okay, so... Ticking speed does not have to be on max for you to be able to use these, by the way. It, you just need to be able to have ticking speed. <laughs> no. I mean, yes, but um, you're not allowed to have no ticking speed. But yeah, these are all for survival. None of these are just for creative. They're all just for survival. So yeah, anyways, let's get into this. So this one is, you know, the wheat one. You click the button, and you just, you know, poop out all this water here. And make it go into the hoppers, which go into this chest, and you get all this good stuff from it, and it's, it's super helpful. You get a really good, decent amount from it. I forgot to count how much you get, though, which there's already stacks in there, and I'm too lazy to, like, do more math, so, just, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that is this, that is this one. I'm, you click the button to turn off the water, and then you, I don't know why I have that. Then you simply, um... Just replant it, put in all the seeds. Yeah, see, was, there goes the ticking feed really high. Yeah, you know, just replant all these seeds here. Very simple. But yeah, that is the wheat. Let's go on to the next one. Um, right, this is the second design where it is an automatic you literally have to do nothing it is an auto full automatic um um watermelon watermelon farm you doesn't have to be watermelon it could be watermelon or pumpkin either of those ones those those both of those work so it could be either of those and right, i'm just using mine as watermelon because it's the first seeds i found but yeah it, it oh, uh, those aren't supposed to be there but yeah it gives you a really good amount of watermelons um but of course they don't, they don't grow this fast again. The teen speed is high. But I think this is a super cool idea. You guys, can please tell me if, if you guys, by the way, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up, comment, and it would be super helpful if you guys would subscribe. That would be amazing. Alright, well, oh yeah, and don't forget that, um, uh, yeah, you're gonna need redstone <laughs> for almost all of these. Alright, so let's go on to the next one. Alright, next we have this automatic sugar cane farm, which seems to not be working right now. Oh, uh, wait, I think I might know why. Here, wait. Uh, tentacle, tentacle di difficulties. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. But, uh, alright, so I fixed it. It's just the, uh, minecart that, um, Spawned. Oh, and by the way, uh, once I'm done showcasing all these, I'll go right back and show you guys redstone so you guys can build it in your own world. So don't worry. Continue watching, please. That would be great. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is pretty much this is the sugar cane farm that it once it grows up to there, it'll just you know cut it off and then you get all this good old sugar cane. Uh, you see nothing right there. But yeah, we get a we get a good amount of um, sugar cane and stuff from this. Yeah. Pick up all that, but yeah, it's a really nice machine, and I'll show you how to make it later. But for now, this is just me showing you guys how they are. So, yeah, let's go on to the next one. All right, so this is the um cocoa bean farm, which took me so long to try to figure out how to do this. This is super long, I, I mean, this took me a super long time to do, like, uh. Cocoa beans are hard, man. <laughs> okay, well, um, pretty much, 
this one you have to click a couple buttons for, but it's still it's really good. It's still really awesome. So the only problem is you have to do it like in a one block gap just to make it easy to do with redstone and survival. But pretty much you click this button and it drops all these cocoa beans. Okay, I'm just gonna real quick grab some more. Uh, I don't know. And then it's gonna replant them. It's pretty much just replant them with of course you'd be on this ladder, you go boom, crouch, go up, go up, crouch, go down, or you don't even have to crouch. But yeah. And then you just keep on planting them and clicking the button once they're done growing, you just click the button again and then you just fall down. It's it's really a really quite awesome machine and this is literally all the redstone, it's so easy. I can literally show you right now. So pretty much you just need um one button. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pieces of redstone dust, and one, one, two, three, four, five pistons, and that's pretty much it in a button and a couple half slabs and stuff. It's super easy to make. I really suggest building this in your world because it's just so easy to make. It's really helpful too because you can get all those cookies, and you can. It's it's really awesome. But yeah, and also brown dye. But yeah, that is design number four. Let's go on to the next one. Last but not least, we got the bamboo farm, which I did not make this one. I will not take any other credit for making this, or this is all Harry Man's. This is all of Harry Man's design. This is none of my design. This is all by Harry Man's help. He is really awesome and doing all this redstone stuff so please go check out his channel his channel is super awesome it's a pretty great one so i really suggest his channel go you know like on his videos and give him some views but yeah this this is um this is all his creation so if i might not give you really a tutorial on this one because if you guys want a full tutorial on this i will make a video on it because this one's actually a whole lot of redstone here let me show you you can come in here and it's just kind of all yeah it's it's red in here you know but if you guys want a full intro i mean full um this way i want to make this let's say three likes that would be great greatly appreciated all right that way i know that you guys want it um so yeah this is the last one where pretty much it just grows up to the observers and then they just get punched and then you all go into this chest and you get a buttload of well bamboo and it's super amazing but yeah that's hair man's build and that that that's all of them and now I can show you how they all work so I'm back all right so pretty much I just yeah sorry about that earlier but pretty much you just have two hoppers and you have a minecart with a hopper under in it going right underneath the um, the, the, um, um, the hoed, uh, dirt, right underneath where the pumpkin actual seed is, right underneath that, like, one block underneath, and it's on top, with, on top of rail, which are on top of two hoppers, which are going into each other, where one's going into the other one, and the other one's going into this chest, and this chest is, well, yeah, it's a chest, you pretty much already know what's gonna be in it, um, chest-related things, whatever you, yeah, well, in this sense, it's watermelon. But um, and then you put an observer where the face is facing, right into that block right there. And um, and then you put redstone connecting to the piston, which is make sure it's not sticky, or else that'll be bad. But um, and yeah, boom, that one's all done. Let's go on to the next one. All right, this is the last one, but it's of course it's not least, but it's this one's this one's also really helpful because it's really good for getting paper. That's it's really it's really amazing, but um, so this one's extremely easy as well. So pretty much, this is all it is. Um, you have two pistons. You have two um, a row of observers. By the way, you can make this as long as you want. You can make it really going like. 5,000 blocks that way, it really doesn't really matter, but, um, you have, uh, observers on the top row where the face is facing towards the sugar cane, and you have pistons, uh, or non sticky pistons facing this way as well, and you have the blocks going right below the observers, 
and then redstone dust on them and then that's that's pretty much the basics of it but you also got um down here which there are some um, let's see if i can get into here there are some pretty much um rails with my cards and then hoppers in them going right underneath the block with the sugar cane on them it's right there you know right there and that's pretty much it it's super easy i really like this build it's super easy to make and it's quite awesome it's just so good for getting paper and all those useful materials so yeah that and also these hoppers there's also hoppers there if you yeah hoppers going to these chests like you probably got you guys already know that you guys are smart but yeah that is all of them i do hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like comment and subscribe that'll be much appreciated and i'll see you guys in, in the next one bye